All right, everybody, welcome back. We're back now with Frank Freedom, taking a little break from uh, our good old pal Monty over on the Monolith side. I like to imagine that uh, my characters are in the same like save file, like uh, somewhere out there. Monty's roaming around. You know what I mean? He's up north doing his thing, while down south I'm hanging out. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I just imagine that. So, what happened last time? I I don't um. I don't really know what the plan is right now. All I know is I have this ADAR, right? Functional barrel. So I want to fix it up. We are running a little low on funds. However, we do have a PPSH. We have a good pistol, our starting pistol. We have our um, Protecta. And we have a ton of stuff, including a lot of weight right now. So I do want to do some trading right off the bat. I don't remember if I did come here and try selling things or doing anything like that, but regardless, that's what we're going to do. Now, I am thinking of not buying, but crafting the Hunter's Kit just to gain the bonuses of uh, mutant parts, which would be great. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let me just say why. I sold, I don't, I think it was the last part, I sold my Snorkan that I need to be collecting for hip, and I, I just sold it for some reason. I don't know what what possessed me. I just did, and I feel awful about it. Also, a comment uh, had me realize, and when I look back at the video, I saw it that uh, the pa one of the packages I was supposed to deliver I dropped by accident. <laughs> That's why I couldn't deliver it. It's it's so friggin' ridiculous. What is the stalker's journal? So yeah, it it's funny bullshit basically just a bunch of funny bullshit um we're not gonna t hand in any basic tools because we can craft with metal parts and five of these we can craft advanced tools and that's more worth it in my opinion if we find advanced tools then we can start handing in all, all our basic tools but <laughs> yeah so there are he this guy does not serve any parts for this weapon so i'm just gonna have to make b repair kits um and then I'm gonna have to probably go north to army warehouses to, uh, to do what? To get ammo for this thing. But I don't think, ar does army warehouse sell any 5.56 to me right now? I don't remember. Well, regardless, uh, let's see. Let me look real quick. Repair toolkits, type B. I need weapon cleaning kit to steel wool. So it's, I, I don't really, you know. But the problem is, uh, I will have one part that isn't going to be good. I'm so glad I have my chain artifact, though. That is one thing. However, okay, what do I want to do right now? That's a good question. I probably want to start heading up north again. Because I have a lot of uh, things still in the stash up north that I want to use. So I'm going to take all these uh, bullet materials here. Anything else I want? I don't know. Where's that armor? I think it's over here in my other stash because I do want to repair this armor I found. I want to go north with it, but... Well, army warehouse north, but I don't know... No, it's not here. Where, what stash is that armor in? I don't remember. I really do not remember. I also have this car 98 that I was excited when I found, but at the same time, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be using it, because if I can get this ADAR working, uh, 30 rounds of 5.56, in my opinion, is more valuable than 5 rounds uh, of 792 by 57 so that's the way I'm seeing it, right? Because five rounds, and plus I have to manually load each round into the into the weapon, so, you know. It's just one of those things. That's the way I'm looking at it. It's just one of those things I'd rather not do. So, yeah. So, I think I'm, I want this. Yeah, I want this. That's what I want. I can leave the other stuff here for now. Go north. Uh, right, right, right. Um, my armor is at the... Uh, okay, I'm remembering. My armor is at the Dark Valley site. So, I'm going to go kill this mutant over here i'm gonna go back to dark valley but because i also have a quest to turn in i eventually what's this right i have a package to deliver two army warehouses perfect excuse and then i eventually want to do some mission stuff like living legend i have to go to dead city which is fine you know i'm safe there so first and foremost 
I'm tired? Oh my god, I guess I'm tired. Alright, well, this is, uh... Well, this is gonna be starting a little differently than I expected. Um, might as well just go to bed. It's almost 8 in game. So yeah, dude, let's do the thing again. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna sleep until 6 and hope, you know. Yep, alright, 11 hours. Perfect. So, you're probably questioning, why, why sleep right away? Look, right there. Spring cleaning is done. Sure, does, is it guaranteed to get done? No, it's not. It is not. However, there's a high chance of it getting done. That's what I care about. Not whether it gets done or not, the high chance of it getting done. Now, I just don't have to go over there anymore. Привет, брат. I just have to turn in the job. That simple. Even though the unknown enemy is still there, I think that's just a glitch. Regardless, we have to go turn it... Oh, we can, we're can. we turning in two jobs. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Spring cleaning, there was the mutant and spring cleaning got done. That is huge. You know what's really good about spring cleaning? I didn't kill the bandits. You remember that quest I said I accepted by accident? You know what I mean? I didn't want to, uh, you know, I didn't mean to accept it, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter now because the bandits are dead. So what we're going to do, we're going to waltz our way back over to uh, Rookie Village. Uh, I'm going to actually check uh, any jobs I, I can get done right now before I do that. Let's see. Basic tools, PD, nah, hell no. Uh, rescue someone, no. Requires me killing bandits. Problem with freedom, I've said like, you know, 59,000 times at this point, but you're going to hear me repeat it another 59,000 times, is that it requires me to uh, kill factions that I'm friends with. I don't want to do that. Another thing that I uh, want to mention that I did in my Monolith run, if you haven't checked that out yet, I highly recommend it. It's really fun so far. I'm having a really fun time with it. But regardless, one thing I do want to mention is that I should have been accepting quests to lead people places to um, get followers for free, basically. Now, there was one guy... I remember in one of my episodes, I was walking around the bandit village in Dark Valley trying to do it. There was one guy. Oh, free artifact. Cocoon. Nice. There was one guy looking for, uh, you know, tr uh, a companion. I just couldn't find him. So that would have been my early game companion. Hey, how's it going? See, I don't want to pay five grand just for two days of having a, a partner. It's not worth it in my opinion. I loot these bodies already. Yeah, the the cuts I did last episode, I think it was, um, these are the bodies that I looted for like the Mosin and stuff like that. So, probably not doing a cut to Rookie Village because I can run pretty fine because of my, oh, oh my God. Th he was loud, I thought he was coming right for me. Let me kill these guys. I need your meat and your flesh. Among other things, I need the money. But no, uh, regardless, what I was trying to say... Uh, you know what? They're running too far. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, I'm under red weight, and I have the chain artifact. What's good about the chain artifact is that I have um, a much better stamina recovery. It's true uh, potential is released... Oh my god. I forgot, I'm not using a uh, pump shotgun. Man, what a great upgrade. Anyways, it's true potential is not unleashed because it gives your sin followers a lot of bonuses. Like, for example, look, members of sin are granted triple the effect with the addition of Psy Health. Sin companions receive health regen. Now, sure, it would have been great to have, be a member of sin and have, you know, a chain artifact. But, you know, my, I'm doing a monolith playthrough, not a sin playthrough. They're very similar, but I like, you know, monoliths more classic, you know. And also, the Sin followers gain health regen, so equipping the chain as a monolith um, still gives me benefits, because my Sin followers can regen health too. Also, um, what's it called? I don't think I'm going to do this. It's probably the wrong series to talk about it in. But there's a chance I could also change to be a Sin, if I wanted to. But then it would kind of invalidate the whole, like, ah, hey, it's a monolith playthrough kind of thing, wouldn't it? Job is done. 
4200 job is done look at that so 10 over a little over 10 grand for my efforts plus more trust with the loners hey golden stash now hopefully it's either ammo making or another basic tools so after this, I'm going to take a right. Actually, I'm going to go get that stash, then take a right to Dark Valley, turn in this quest, get my armor, then go all the way back to army warehouses. And again, the walk from through uh, Truck Cemetery will probably be just, you know, cut out in the meantime, because that place sucks. It's literally just a big walking session. Another package delivering to army warehouses. Perfect. Um, eliminate mutants. I might as well just accept the mutant killing missions and just come back one day for them. I don't have to do it right now, which is fine, Bureau Skin. I don't think that's worth it. I think it's better to keep my Bureau Skin. Kill mercenaries and garbage? Hell no. I like mercs. At least right now, you know, mercs are fine, so. Uh... I guess eventually, I'll just accept it to have it, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Well, with that said, um, we're kind of good on ammo. We're fairly good on time. We are just gonna go... Oh, hey, look, that's where the mutants are. Perfect. And that's where other mutants are. I'm not gonna go for these ones, but I'll just do these ones on the way. I'm gonna go north, go to garbage, loot those two stashes, take a right, go to Dark Valley. Turn in the quests uh, with the bandits. Then go to army warehouses, turn in the packages. And yeah. Sounds good to me. That sounds a great, like a great idea. See, with my monolith playthrough, you know, I have a lack of jobs right now. I basically am just hoping to get lucky with killing, you know, faction members or, you know, having mutants die. I mean, I have a ton of money on my monolith playthrough, so that's not really the issue. But one thing that playing like a normal faction like Freedom, for example, you get to do is you get to play on like routes. You get to go, okay, I have these jobs to do, these jobs to turn in, these jobs to potentially take on. And you kind of play in these little, uh, these put little routes. If you're familiar with Civilization VI, think of them as like trade routes. I know it's like a very odd example and it probably doesn't make sense, but let me explain. Uh, the fire stuttering will never, never, I'll never get used to it. Um, are these, is there a new body here? Yeah, there is. There's a new body here, huh. I'll take those. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Oh wait, that's another body. Oh, loners came around here. I'll take it. Oh my god. Everyone died. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I would have liked the Dura. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They're fighting someone over there. I think it might be... I mean, pretty much every faction besides military down here I'm friends with, so... <laughs> Could easily be, like, mercs or something. What's this? Another scar. There's always a, an artifact there, I've noticed. I can sell one of those scars. Eh, or I can keep one. Scars are very valuable. That's bandits. Oh, they're fighting mutants. <laughs> really? Isn't there a dead... I just saw a dead body here. I'm not mistaken. Look at that. Man, it's just doing the work for me at this point. I'll take it. I will take that. Nice. Um, but yeah, I was saying they're like trade routes from Civ 6. Because trade routes, you send to one city. And then, you know, they go to another city. And your city that you send the trade route to gets benefits. But, you know, probably a poor example in terms of what I'm trying to explain. Long story short, I'm doing a route right now. A specific route, but the route itself isn't just traveling. It isn't just walking. It, it's benefit. It's a benefit. I do this run to garbage. 
during the run, I will kill mutants. I will take their mutant parts. Then, during the same run, I will collect, take some stashes. Then, during the same run, I will turn in multiple jobs while accepting new jobs that I could possibly do. You're, you're doing these routes, like A to B bullet points, basically. That you are constantly gaining some form of uh, benefit from. Whether it be small or big, it's, it's not important. You're gaining benefit. That's the important part. Fucking boars. Oh! He's gone! He disappeared! Oh, oh, he was sucked into the tree. What else got sucked up? Okay, well, that was, uh, that happened. Anyways, that's how you want to do it. You don't want to be like, okay, I'm going to accept jobs in Corden, do jobs in Corden, accept jobs in Corden, do jobs in Corden, accept jobs in Corden, do dogs in Corden, do jobs in Corden, and just keep rinse and repeating it over and over again to, for the rest of your life. Nice. Because you're not going to go anywhere. Sure, you might, like, get a good stockpile of money, but you want to explore new areas, get new stash locations, Get jobs from different factions, start improving your relationships across the board, because the higher trader level you have with the factions, the more stuff you're going to be able to get from them. And honestly, that's invaluable. People underestimate tra uh, trader level. There's still mutants here, apparently. I hear it. Or I heard it. Where is it? I just heard, like, the footsteps. I don't know. Eh, you know, it'll probably get itself killed. I, I'd have to go back to Rookie Village to turn in the job anyways, and it's not like I'm going back there anytime soon, so... Hopefully during my adventures, he's just gonna die. I don't need to worry about it. Now, I'm gonna mark the uh, stash. There we go. Now we go. So yeah, um, if you don't like walking this long distances back and forth between places, honestly, you're probably just not gonna like Stalker, if I'm being honest. Even the original Stalkers, pretty much that entire game is spent walking. There's no fast travel system, there's uh, none of that. Not even a little bit. Let's see. Anything? Renegade, that's for an artifact. I'll do it. Mama's Beats. Uh, I don't really care about Mama's Beats. I could care less about them, honestly. Um, I'm running out of water. I'll save my drink. Let's just uh, progress. Let's continue on. So if you're wondering how I knew it was going to be an artifact when... Normal, just everyday stalkers sitting around a campfire or whatever, not like tra uh, traders or quest givers, ask you for patches. They will always, in my case at least, give you an artifact. I've never not gotten an artifact from giving patches to like normal stalkers. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. I guess that's just, you know, a good way to get artifacts. I've gotten some good art. I've got like wrenched from them. I've gotten bat batteries. So you can get a good amount of artifacts from uh, just giving patches to generic stalkers. I'm going to be constantly getting that radiation effect, by the way, because I have Mama's Beats and I don't have a lead container. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, it made me heavy. That's why I'm running out of stamina so fast. You're kidding me. Is there anything I could drop? I don't think so. Probably something heavy I could just get rid of. I mean, I have these hammers that are kind of annoying. Um, because I do not want to do this run <laughs> with, uh, being heavy. 
I'm not going to. I'm going to find a way around it, even if I do have to drop stuff. Like, I will. Let's see. Uh, medical kit. It's fine. I'll give this to a doctor, I suppose. Bunch of medical supplies, though. A trigger mechanism. Disassemble this stuff. You always want to disassemble bad armors. Again, all your stuff has to be is at least 1%, and you can craft with it. Easy. I'm going to save these because I can still sell them to the ecologists for an okay amount of money. I have a Hercules. But it won't last for as long as I'd need it to last. That's a problem. I have to probably just ditch something. Let's see. Let me look real quick. Well, I can repair using the tarp. Probably repair my armor. But if I'm going to try to fix up an armor, that'd be pretty silly, wouldn't it? Um, one of these probably gives me weight carried. Yeah, the beer skin. But it takes away my, my stamina, and the chain is great stamina. So this is why I need more artifact slots. Ah, uh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. How much does the Hercules let me carry? But six more kilograms, give or take. Okay, what about the coffee? Only one kilogram. I could totally drink the... Drink the Hercules. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to. Might not be the best use of it. I don't care. I'm not focused on the best use of it right now. I'm focused on... Just being able to walk again. Plus, I have energy as well. So, loot this stash, then go to Dark Valley. And look at that. Because of the energy I'm gaining from the Hercules I'm also and the chain, I'm also not even losing stamina. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I might be okay, because if I can just sprint the entire time for all 500 seconds, I should just be running, so... And you know what? No, I don't know if the coffee stacks. It might even replace the effect. I don't remember. It probably just won't even give me the effect because the Hercules has a better one. Oh, there's someone shooting a suppressed weapon over there. Eh, nothing crazy. I mean, I'll take the stuff, but you know. Not like it's that good. So, there, this is like, what kind of gunfight is this? Is this a fight between people or mutants? I can't see, it's too foggy. I gotta go to the Dark Valley anyways, so, let's see. Oh, look, another stash. I can see that stash. That's a loner, fighting, uh, oh, they're fighting mutants, who cares? The world's worst mutant hunters over there. Alright, another stash. I got my Hercules back. Um, nah, it's not worth it. It's worth it to disassemble, though. I ain't got nothing from it. Let's go. I'll take that those shells. No! God damn it. <gasps> Doesn't help that I'm constantly just gaining radiation from my the mama's beads. Oh shit. Uh, that sounds like the rats. Little rat guys. Yeah, there they are. Funny little rat guys. That's horrific. <laughs> Alright, let's get that. Let's get out of here. Only 360 seconds left. 
And then I gotta bring the armor up north. Oh my god, you know I'm cutting that out of the video. It's gonna take like friggin' 20 minutes. <laughs> you guys are gonna meet me back at Army Warehouses and I'm gonna be like, Hey everybody, welcome back. Time to cut out 45 minutes from the video. I gotta take a sip of water. Don't underestimate how good water's for you, by the way. If you're feeling thirsty, you look in your fridge and you got like soda, uh, you got like juice, drink some water or some milk. Unironically, you know, milk is good. Gives you some good calcium, hydrates you. I'm a I'm a milk uh sympathizer, I guess you'll call. I say that because there's a lot of people out there who think milk sucks. Milk's good for you. Now there's a pseudo giant here. I know that much. And I think in front of me there's a sci field as well, which sucks. The most random sci field. But yeah, I mentioned this in a community post. Um I am looking at possibly doing other playthroughs. Not of just Stalker Gamma, but maybe the um Old school stalkers as well, like Call of Chernobyl, uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. I'm sorry, Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky, and Call of Appropriate. But of course, you know, I want to make sure, you know, that's what you guys want to watch. I don't want to start playing the old stalkers and everyone's like, "Hey, where's, you know, Part Seven of Freedom? Where's Part Three of uh, Monolith? You know, that kind of thing." I'd rather just, like, I like games. I love games, like all kinds of games. It's not like, oh, play what you want. I am playing what I want right now. No matter what, like, if you guys say, hey, play this, it's probably going to be a game I want to play. Like, I, I like I like video games. That's simple. So if you guys have any suggestions of things to play, I'm probably going to be all for it. So, you know, don't be, don't be afraid to suggest. Don't be like, oh, you know, I would suggest this, but I don't know if you'd like... I probably will. Like, I'd probably like it. Come on now. Let's see. Yep. Uh, mutants that are probably going to die anyways. Flesh meat... I'm probably going to give... Do I want to give this doctor the the meds? Probably. Because I would give the freedom doctor, but I'm not up there that often. I'm more here, right? You know, yeah, yeah I'll, give, I'll give this guy the drug making kit. Flesh meat. 1500 for three flesh meat. That's worth it. Doctors in here. Look, не мои глазеньки. И кто это к нам пожаловал? Whatever he just said, I agree with. Um, job is done. Five grand plus better uh, medical equipment from him specifically. And plus, when I do work for the bandits, I gain trust with the Freedom Stalkers as well. So, I'm always gaining my faction's, uh, my faction's rep. Basically, what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> that surprised me. I thought I fell through the map for a second. I was like, what the hell? I'm probably going to buy a lead container as well, just so I have one for moments like this where I don't want to have to stare at that radiation symbol all the freaking time. Hey, right, how's it going? Job's done. 7,800. Hell yeah. Uh, no, I never ask for loans, by the way. I think it's such a waste. I don't want to give back money. I'd rather just make money. You know what I mean? Like, how much is one of these? Two grand. 0.6. Eh, why not? Who cares? There we go. Now I won't get any radiation. I need food. Food and water. Uh, well, not really food, right? Three bread, beans, sausage, a couple of these. Yeah, I'll save my money and just buy the water. It's not that big of a deal. You don't want to overabundance yourself because you'll, you know, I'm already in a weight situation, right? 
So all that's going to happen is I'm going to have a ton of stuff I need to carry. And then I'm going to run into a situation where I'm like, well, I don't want to get rid of any of what I'm holding on to, so... Yeah, so this is the armor that I want to upgrade to right now. It has 7 more armor class, 15 more bullet... Well, it, okay, let's let's think about this. So 10 ballistic resistance, 33. It says 24, 39. It does take away slightly my movement multiplier, but it does give me 6 more kilograms of carry weight. And a mercenary disguise. What does that give for me? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> but I, I just thought I'd mention it. Alright, uh, so let's take all the ammo stuff again. All the stu ammo stuff I put away. Uh, there's nothing... Okay, see, I'll take it. No, is it even worth it? It's 57%. It's too bad to be repaired. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Because if it was 60, I'd be able to repair it. It's not 60. Can't repair it. That simple. Hate to phrase it like that, but it really is that simple. Um, nah, that, this ain't worth it. I'll take this. I'm already gonna be overweight. As long as I, as long as I, like, can move, right? See? As long as I can move, I'm fine. Actually, I think I'm only fine because of the Hercules. We'll see in five seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh boy. Oh no, this has less carry weight. This has less. I'm so dumb. But it also has like look at that rupture, look at that ballistic. Oh, that that sucks though that this has less carry weight. My good god. <sighs> it's just better. It really is just better though. Man. How many belts? One belt slot? Come on. No way. Oh my god, at this point, I don't even want this anymore. Because uh, look, it has 40% rupture resistance, which is great. 15 more ballistic resistance. 7 more BR class. Like, I can actually survive getting shot in this thing. But I'm also going to hold, like, a lot less since I'm going to be able to hold only 84 kilograms. And move 5% slower. What does my portrait look like? Eh, it looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> does it matter? No, not at all, but... Oh, boy, this sucks. <laughs> uh... Plus, this helmet's cool as well. If I can fix this thing up, look at that radiation resistance I can get. It's pretty damn good. Plus, it's better than my little, you know, little boy's fucking, you know, baby's first gas mask. Uh, what do I do here? I have to drink another Hercules if I even wanna. I'm going to. I'm not even gonna, like, play around. I'm just gonna drink it. Where is it? Give me it. This plus the uh, chain. The, I don't seem to be losing stamina. I do definitely when I run, but not when I walk. Alright. Okay, listen. Long story short, let me let me see what jobs we have real quick. I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I really care about. All Dark Valley military, not right now. Long story short, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut the truck cemetery walkout unless something really interesting happens. But as we all know at this point, nothing interesting really freaking happens on this run. So don't expect much, but we're going to get going. We have 500 seconds before I have to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I'm not I'm not even convinced on this armor anymore. At first I was. Oh, I am losing stamina just very slowly. All right. Well, uh snowstorm's hitting. All right. Long story short, um I'll see if something happens. So, with that said, uh see you soon. So today's random encounter is a uh mission. <laughs> As soon as I entered this place, and the mission started. So you know what that means. Uh, I'm going to lose a lot of my Hercules time just sitting here waiting for this thing to blow over. So, uh, yep, just thought I'd uh, update you on 
my little situation here. I'll see you when it's over and then when I'm at Army Warehouses. That's one big ass rat. All right, we're just pulling up on Army Warehouses right now on our first quest to deliver uh, to deliver the package to one of the boys. There it is. Nice, some vodka. Wait a minute. Okay, I can still walk. No, I'm not even freaking going to the Great Swamps. Fuck you. So, I was able to craft another uh, Hercules. Because I found out the craft for Hercules is actually really easy. It's just vodka, chocolate bar, jar. So, I was able to craft another Hercules. Gave me enough time to get here. Um, besides the omission and the world's biggest rat, I didn't really... Uh, see anything too interesting uh, on the way no combat nothing like that no not even mutants which is surprising so I had a strength upgrade while walking here and now look look I lose stamina when I run but when I walk with the Hercules and the chain I actually slowly regenerate my stamina which is actually kind of cool so I never had to worry about having to stop and rest now let's see what I have in here that was a bunch of stuff if I remember correctly. yeah look at this Oh, I'm over here like, oh yeah, let me fucking... I can't even repair this, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was going to be like, yeah, let me go get an armor repair. Um, So put that... I can't. Who would have thought? All right. Uh, There's another stash I'm going to use. It's over by this campfire over here. These two stashes were what I used initially before I made my base on my lumber playthrough. Uh, Here, I got another package to deliver. All right, more vodka. more trust among the loners all right so put this stuff away uh, and I'll put hmm, I'll put all like gear related things in here and I'll put all the other stuff in the other one now look with the Hercules I'm just not losing stamina in yellow that's great home sweet home by the way been a while Pretty much, like, purely down south. So let me take these guns. I would love to fix up this AK-12, let me tell you. <laughs> but the 8R would have to do for now. It'll have to do. It's only a Type B repair kit. But take these guns. Put away uh, all this stuff. Take that film that I always keep putting everywhere. Recognizing I do it now at least. Uh, put all this ammo away. Make sure uh, just put 5.56 five, until I can actually use it. Put uh, some of this. I don't need all that. Alright. Good. Put these away. Nice. I'm going to keep the 10 pocket knives because they're actually really useful for... Uh, disassembling so the more you can keep on you the better plus 10 of them only equals a kilogram who cares I'll get over it put these away now I gotta go get the uh, XO and move it over here that XO is a great find early game but the problem is is that to make an XO repair kit you need at least advanced tools funnily enough right but also a heavy repair kit and the booklet to make the XO repair kit. So, long story short, uh, we ain't getting the head XO anytime soon, but it's definitely nice to have. Just in case we get unlucky and can't find one later. I, I found that in a stash, didn't I? I think so. I think I found that off in a stash. It's funny because in my Monolith playthrough, where I'm actually fighting a bunch of, like, tough enemies, I'm not actually finding any exos but i'm finding plenty of exo kits funnily enough all right so take that gun are we at level two yet with freedom no but we're at level two with the free stalkers hell i have more rep with the bandits <laughs> we got to do some work for freedom our own faction okay let's see we're not doing these it's too too ridiculous. Yeah, let's go to Rostock and kill some people. Yep, great idea. 
Okay, do this specifically because I just need freedom rep at this point. Do anything that I can get. Ah, oh, I don't really want to do that. I want to save it. I'll do, I'll hand in my dog meat. That's that's fine. I could do that. I need my drug making kit. Problematic stalker monolith. Red forest. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, army warehouses? I could definitely do that, let me tell you. Alright, we got a few things we can do at least. I want some weird stuff. So Good that's going to gain me rep. some freedom stalker rep. Uh, I have something to give to Skinflint. That's going to give me some freedom stalker rep. Because I want I want to rank up my uh, reputation with the with freedom. Because so I'm actually going to be coming here for a lot of my goods. Job is done. Doesn't give a lot, but it it's whatever. Just look. Uh, supply level one. What's what is noticeably absent? Supply level one. If you said five five six, you'd be right. He does not give me five five six freedom. The literal faction that sells that type of round does not sell it to you unless you are at supply level two or higher, I believe. My God, there's a lot of these happening. So with that said, we gotta we gotta figure that out basically, and we also gotta I think we gotta buy the recipe for the next backpack at this point too, especially if we're looking to upgrade to that armor. That's gonna be a requirement. Um, speaking of which, put some of this stuff away. Well, specifically just that I guess. Maybe some hammers. Keep one on me. Uh, keep one of each. Never know who might want it. Um, until I get another artifact slot, I think I can put these away. Until I get ammo kit, I can put all this stuff away. It's not a lot of space, but it adds up. I can read this. 99 Luff Balloons playing. Good thing I'm not monetized. <laughs> I guess I can carry this. Ah, uh, well. Put that away and keep the keep the container. Um. Hmm. So I don't really want to repair this right now, especially because uh, well, I kind of can't. Oh, I do have one part. I do have one part. That is great, actually. What is it? 27. The gas system. Nice. I can at least put one new part in it. That's good. I can throw away the old one because I don't need it. Alright, let's put that there so I remember it's easier to get to. Until I reach rank 2 with freedom, it literally will not matter. That, um,. That 8R, I mean. Like, I, I can't buy the ammo for it. So, at this point, there's no point in even having it. What I think I'm going to do... Oh, I didn't check if I have... I need a 1 mod. I'm going to go check my box. If I don't have a better 1 mod, I'm going to go see if the mechanic sells any. So that way, this thing should not jam on me anymore. Which is something I, I don't want to have keep happening. Because it sucks, and it's more often than you might think it would actually happen. Buy some more, uh... PPSH rounds as well. <laughs> Anything I want to actually buy here? I don't think so. I don't think I want to buy any of this. Eh, maybe the tarp. Because that is great repair. Um... Luckily, my Hercules was not only keeping me awake, but keeping me fed, too. So I actually gained a lot of stuff using those. Which is hilarious. I need two more basic tools to get the advanced tools. Then I could finally start making some good gear. Um, I'm not seeing anything I really care about. Uh, I'm doing fine on Buckshot. 
I'm doing fine on Bookshut. I got some jobs I gotta do now, and especially with, you know, plenty of ammo, I should be able just to hold left click and kill people. <laughs> That's the hope, at least. So let me check if I have this gun part. I do! I have a... 53% one mod. Now this is better than my current one. This is... Oh my god, that scares me every freaking time. Alright. Much better. Mm, drop this stupid one. Alright, uh, I, I should also repair this thing. Just a little bit. I only have a 40% repair though. So I'm gonna use it. And I might as well use the tarp, because it is friggin... It's exactly 10 needed to repair it. There we go. It should be jamming a lot less now, because 50... That's like an 11 point uh, buff, basically. It's still probably going to jam on me knowing this game, honestly. It's it's probably going to. All right, with that said, do one little, like, make sure I didn't miss any easy tasks. Well, duty patches, right? How many does he want? Nine... I might as well just accept it from just to have it, like locked and loaded. Liver of package of Jupiter. I don't even think I can go there yet. I still have the brain scorch and the miracle machine to deal with. All right, so time to go kill some duty. Classic mission. Wait, I'm loading. Okay, I'm loading buckshot. Freedom killing duty. Oh, you know, don't, don't you know? You don't say. Uh, let's go do it. I I wish I can get a follower though. I'm still a rookie, meaning I can't ask people to be my follower. But next time someone's like, "Hey, can you bring me somewhere?" I'm totally just gonna say yes and do what I did in my my uh, monolith run and just stab a follower basically for free. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do that. I'm not even kidding. Like at this point, he's like in the road. Because, I'll stand by it, rookie to trainee is a really big gap in this game. Once you get trainee, though, you start actually ranking up quite efficiently, in my opinion. Like, when I went to experience from trainee, I was like, what? Really? That was quick. It seems just like the initial rookie to trainee rank is, uh, it's kind of a gap. Don't know why. Uh, where is he looking? He's looking away from me, isn't he? See, I'm gonna keep the tree between us, because that's gonna cause just a complete sight block, so he doesn't see me. It didn't work. That did, though. There's more. But where? That's a little scary. Where is where is the other ones? Uh I forgot they can hear you. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I just Oh yeah, if I just keep the tree between me and him. Like, all I had to do is crouch and I would have been fine. Are they here? I'm gonna be running so much. Yep, there he is. At least one of them. Might be multiple. An expert stalker. That's bad! Probably gonna have to stand because one headshot won't work. I might as well just spray him down. There we go. There we go. Get the headshot damage in and then spray him down. Good. Nice. Mil spec. That's a good that's a good weapon. Take all the just take it all at this point, right? Like I have space.
you know, once I upgrade weapons, I will be a tiny bit sad because this PPA, PPSH, it works, man. Sure, it, it won't work against, like, really high-tier enemies, and it's probably just unreliable in general, but credit where credit's due. Oh, two Vogs. That's not bad. Those will take everything again. Who cares? Oh, I don't have a multi... Uh, yeah, that's right! That's what I need. I need a multi-tool. Excuse my voice crack. I'll shoot myself later for it. But, um... I need a multi-tool. Completely forgot about it. Alright, well. Killed some duty. Killed some duty -ers. Is that a... Who's that? Just a loner. Expert loner. My god, the fire. I'm looking for an escort squad. Not really. I'm just pressing it to see how much. I'm not. I don't want to pay for an escort squad. I can handle myself. If you follow me till death do us part, I'll be your best friend. But if you, if I need to pay you for like just two days, screw that, man. I'll pay you to stay with me until you die. Remember in Skyrim, you could hire a mercenary for like a measly 500 gold and they'll just follow you forever. <laughs> Like the cheapest mercenaries ever for like no reason. <laughs> Alright guys. I agree. Let's go put these guns away. Still can't believe I haven't found a functional barrel uh, of any caliber. Not in this box, but I'm gonna check this box real quick. Um I have two parts, actually, for this. No parts for this. But two parts for this. What is the parts? A... Looks like a bolt. Not a bolt. A bolt carrier. And a... Where is it? 2LA. What is that? Like, gas system? Yeah, that's a gas system. Alright, so that's, that's not bad, honestly. That is not bad at all. But I need a barrel... Um, well, more like I need to get better tools, like, obviously, but just calling it out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this stuff away. Then I'm gonna go buy a friggin' multi-tool, finally. It's taken too long. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what, six, this is my sixth part, and I can't figure out that I need a friggin' multi-tool. Got some bolts and bullet casings, so that's gonna be good as well. Go turn in this job. I always love shooting duty as freedom. I love that freedom and duty are basically the red and blue team. Basically, they're, they're just you know the rival teams. Love that. And I love that it's not like uh, that's a good amount of money. And I love that it's also not like a stupid red and blue team, as in like, oh you know, we hate you for stupid reasons. Like it's just two ideologies that clash. That's one thing I love about- I love Stalker Factions for that reason. Love Stalker Factions for that reason. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about Stalker. Where am I at? I need, like, 12 to get to level 2. 12! What other jobs do I have for you freaking jesters? Nothing? I have no- I gotta just force something out real quick. Hold on. Let's see. Can I do anything? Anything. I have to give you basic tools if I want to. Probably be enough for a drug making kit, but I don't want to do either of that. Ugh. Problematic stalker and raw stock and red forest. A friggin' case in red forest. Why do you want me to go to raw stock? The, the entirety of raw stock is friggin' duty. Like, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I can't clear out raw stock with a PPSH. Military in Dark Valley. A cordon job for some reason. Jupiter. A gun I don't have. My god. <laughs> oh my god. There's not just like give me a friggin' piece of meat or something. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna give you the basic tools. I'll give you the basic tools. That should be enough. Job is done. Plus I get some cash from it, so... 
That should be enough. Yep, there we go. 538. Now I'm level 2. I'll live. I will live. It does suck, though, because the PBSH fully auto is good. Like, it's not, like, bad. But having longer range in 5.56 is just going to be better, because just to give you an idea, I'll show you. 24 pen and 21 damage. Now. Information. Oh, PDA. Now. They don't at level 2. It's level 3 or higher? Oh, my God. I think the the when I started giving a shit about freedom... Is, wait, oh wait, his inventory probably hasn't refreshed yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the same shit. His inventory, I need to sleep. Alright, I was just gonna compare it, but I'll, I'll use it in my other stash to show you what I'm talking about. Um, can I buy a gas stove? I'm sorry, give me a second. I can. It's 13 grand, but the thing with gas stoves is that I can make really good mutant uh dishes to the point where i i don't i won't even need like baked beans or whatever again so it's an amazing investment because it also never breaks it um you use gasoline or uh what is it the kerosene and you get uh like that's it that's all you use you get the you use the kerosene and it just uses the kerosene it lasts forever and the kerosene is honestly kind of inexpensive for the amount of value you get out of it Alright, regardless, um, put some of this stuff away. So, where is it? Okay, look, 27 pen. So, not that much better pen, but 35 damage. It's a whopping 14 more damage. That kills, like, that headshots people now. But if you use AP, 52 pen. Now, you're penning higher level armor. Is the 8R the best gun in the game? Hell no. <laughs> but, hold on using this to compare i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do this from now on because it's comparing everything to this slot so it's easier it has way higher accuracy plus 22 more damage just in general better bullet velocity or muzzle velocity too meaning like my bullets are actually gonna go where i'm shooting them like i don't have to leave my shots i do lose recoil control hilariously enough even though it's a single shot weapon and fire rate but who gives a shit adars are single shot weapons um so it's pretty good this is great for spraying down people at close range but at farther ranges i kind of don't have too many options unfortunately so yeah but i do want to get bu the bullet making kit or the ammo making kit so i can start disassembling ammo i don't care about and making ammo i do care about and also just making ammo yeah if you didn't know you can disassemble bullets you'll get bullet parts um to make other ammos people don't know that and it's understandable why people don't know that. But at the same time, you know, it's one of those things that is amazing to know. So with that said, um, what else do I have? Anything else? I have only 20% of a grooming kit. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I have a bunch of meats. I have one snore canned. Which, uh... I need five more for Hip to start following me. Plus, it's, it's thematically correct. Uh, Hip is um, X-Freedom. And you can do her quest two ways. You can have her, like, go back. Not go back, but, like, basically be on good terms with Freedom again. Or you can have her do missions for Barkeep. But the only reason that choice exists is because if you're on bad terms with either of those factions, you can't do one of the options. So, Anyways, before I forget, again buy a multi-tool oh can you only buy from the mechanic yeah that makes sense hold on a second um work no he doesn't have anything i want uh i don't want him to i don't want to let ask you something oh blackjack all right so we're gonna get that multi-tool from the mechanic we still have like a whole day ahead of ourselves so i'm probably gonna go to dead city maybe do a couple jobs for the mercs that i think the loners are gonna freaking piss and cry about but whatever Get that multi-tool. Quick five grand. Any, uh... He has NATO. But I also want to increase the, the like, quality of the gun, too. Like, it's, uh... It's condition, and to do that, I'm gonna need, uh... What's it called? 
I'm gonna need to repair it using the kit. So, where is it? Oh, it's this one. 7,500? That's, that's not a bad deal. Buy that. Read it. Let's see. I need two more mil spec and five basic, uh, so like that. Easy. And just to give you an idea, tw plus 28, plus 34, so that's a plus six upgrade if I wear my other armor. That is going to be equivalent to... It's going to balance out, basically, but I'll be able to use my other armor. However, I'd need the advanced kit. So, that's going to be a back burner, burner kind of thing, but that's fine. It's no problem at all. Probably a bunch of stuff I can put away. In fact, I'll probably put away one of my basic tools. Save a tiny bit of space. Probably wondering, hey, you're not using this field cooking kit. Why not put it away? You have a point, but it's good in a pinch. That's the way I see it. Like, it's good if I need it. Or it's also good to make coffee. Because the coffee is really good. And, if, you know, if I'm caught without it, then I don't have it. Now, I am going to put away a lot of this vodka. I'm not going to lie. Vodka is super heavy. I only make it a rule to carry three of each. Vodka is only really useful for cooking, in my opinion. Because cigarettes are, are a superior anti-radiation gimmick. But before I forget, I'm going to go see what it takes to fix up that helmet. Because that helmet's a pure upgrade in every way, you know, in every way. Especially the radiation. So let's see. Um, well, let me just take it and just see what I have. Who knows, I might have more than I think I do. Alright, let's see. I have... Nice. One, two... Two. Two things. Yes, sir. That's good. Because, um... Here's... A, okay, here's how armor repairing works. Let me just make a medium kit. One second. Do I need... I need advanced tools, never mind. I, I thought I did, I just wasn't sure. And to make these, I need, uh, you know, I need that. So we'll put this on the back burner. I'm just going to put it in there to remember it, kind of like with my ADAR. So, weapon repairing and armor repairing are slightly different. Weapon repairing, if I put all the parts into the weapon, the condition still does not go up. The condition, think about it like this. The parts are like the actual durability, the wear and tear of the part itself. Well, the percentage right here in the corner, that's how clean the gun is. That's how the mod describes it. However, the armor, the parts, and the number are actually one in the same. That's not the, the rules for the gun are not the same as the rules for the armor. So if I put new parts into the armor, the condition will go up. However, look, no field strip, and I also can't drag and drop. So you have to actually have the um, specified armor repair kit for this helmet to be able to put the parts in. But when you put the parts in, the condition goes up, and when the condition goes up, I can then use kits to repair the armor. And then, unlike the gun, if I repair the armor using an armor repair kit, I actually will be able to um, repair the parts in the armor. So the armor's parts equal the condition. So if the armor's condition is 100, all the parts are gonna be like 99, or 100. So that's how it works. But as you can see, it works a lot different from guns. Guns, you can go as low as 30% before you can repair it. Armors, I think the lowest is this one right here, 75%. I might be wrong, I think, no, yeah, 65%, the heavy sewing kit, but that's it. That 65 is the limit before you can, before you actually have to like put in new parts to repair your armor. So the soonest I can repair this thing would be 65. That's it. Look, if I go to details, you'll see right here, see that's what i can use now you're noticing though it says 50 percent on the medium repair kit that's why i need it because i use the medium repair kit to put in the new parts the new parts will bring up its condition as long as it's above 50 percent i can use the medium repair kit once repair it to over 65 then use the heavy then use the advanced and you see what i'm trying to say right once you're able to use this then you can use this then you can use this and you spread it evenly until you fully repair your armor that's how it works. Meanwhile, with the gun, all you need is to put the new parts in or repair it using the, you know, the kit, and then use, like, the gun oil to repair the condition. So that's the two set, uh, differences between armor and, um, what's it called? 
armor and weapons. Now the field armor toolkit is similar to the medium toolkit because you can see base condition gain 25 not usable below 50 percent this is the same basically as the medium or the heavy repair kit the difference is again i need 50 percent so if you don't want to use charges of your medium repair kit or your heavy or any armor for that matter don't be right above me is that gonna hit me i don't think so no. it's too high regardless it's not gonna work I need it above 50%. As long as it's above 50 or 50% or higher, the armor is mine for the taking, basically. But for now, it's not. So, that's it. That's my little uh, armor explanation spiel. Now, we're going to go and uh, go to get Dead City and do some, uh, probably do some jobs for the mercs, but also, simply enough, just continue my, uh, what's it called? Continue the Living Legend quest line. Then, next next in-game day, I should be good in terms of um, getting, uh, getting supplies from Freedom. Hopefully 556 is part of that. I'm pretty sure it's level 2 or higher. Man, look at the mutant parts I'm getting without the friggin... Without the hunting kit. That's insane. Any work, bud? You know, yeah. Jupiter? Nah. So let's go and uh let's go and do that, shall we? Army warehouses, roadside and camping. I don't know where that is. But when they say like all, you actually like can go and help them. I don't know where that is. Don't think I really care that much either. However, he did did he say snorks? If he said snorks, I might care. <laughs> Cuz I need those snork hands. Uh Armor Warehouse still sucks with its radiation though. Once I get the uh the screen helmet repaired, I should be more more or less fine. I can also do the explorer's job for the ecologists. But if I'm being honest, um probably not worth it. Until I get like a better, uh, a better, oh look at this, nice, a better means of protecting myself from anomalies and radiation and maybe a better detector. Oh, good thing I came in here. Look at that, AP rounds, nice. It's never going to be a lot, but it's going to be enough. Broken flashlight for disassembling, my, my guy's twisty. You want any work done? I don't... Chimera meat? You know what? If I had Chimera meat, I'd totally give it to him. Chimera parts sell for a hefty amount of money. Whoa! I did not see that at all. God damn. Armor's at 87%. And that's why, you know, you gotta be careful. Like, look. I could not see that in this, uh... I'm I am smoking. <laughs> I could not see that in this uh, weather. That's what's that's what's tough about um these effects. Wow, that surprised the hell out of me. I'm just gonna do a quick repair. Luckily, my chain should slowly start giving me some health back. It sucks though. These are just the mercs, right? Oh, oh, that's a snark. Hey, buddy. There we go. Ah, oh, no hand. So snorks and lurkers and chimeras, they can be dodged. Like the I am cooking. I am cooking like a goddamn turkey. My good God, how do you guys live like this? All right, one second. Come back when you remember English. I have the better uh, Merc voice lines turned on. People don't really like them. I think it's funny. I feel like if you really have a problem with them, like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? It's funny. It's humorous. 
I get it why people don't, though, because in Clear Sky, they didn't speak English, so it's technically not lore accurate, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Ah, uh, take a sip of water, always hydrate. I actually had some Coke Zero earlier. Kind of, I don't know. You drink enough Coke Zero and you think to yourself, man, I need some water. I don't like sugary drinks, honestly. Like, I'll drink, like, orange juice, you know what I mean? I'll drink, like, orange juice. I'll drink, like, maybe a, a soda if it's, like, available somewhere. But typically, I drink zero sugar sodas. I don't... Listen, I like the taste, all right? I like the taste. I like... Like, it's not as fizzy. I'm not a big fan of the, like, a large amount of fizziness the sodas have, honestly. That's just my, my opinion. But water beats them all. When you're thirsty and you decide, eh, you know what, I'll actually grab water this time around. Dude, let me tell you, you're going to thank yourself. You're going to be drinking that. Like, yeah, this is nice. Like, if you drink, like, a soda, your teeth are going to feel all fucking sticky. I don't know. It's just not going to feel right. So that's my take. All right, let me uh, see what we got here. Scouting. Wait. Nah. Enemy documents in Lamonsk. Fuck that. I'm not going to Lamonsk anytime soon. I'll do this, though. That's simple enough. But there's something to turn in here, and I didn't realize it. Let me do that. I like how these stairs don't cause me a problem, but every other freaking set of stairs it does. What is this? This is like... What is this? Subcontractor. Well, I got an MRE. MREs are great. It's basically three... Three uses, right? Oh, I got only one use. But it's one... It's like a full food heal, basically. Think about it like that. It's really nice. Okay, there's Aslan. Following the trail of Strelik. Yep. <laughs> the best don't go there. Fair enough. There we go. So, now I have, um... Next thing of Living Legend, I get uh, some side block. Why not? So Aslan's uh, patch lottery is actually quite good. I don't have enough patches to make use of it, so I'm not going to be doing it. Uh, nothing. I have friggin' controller brain tissue that nobody wants, and I really, like, it sucks because people actually, like, do pay good for it. One good thing about Dead City is I don't think in my entire time playing this game I have found any other faction here besides Mercs. So they're pretty it's pretty much just a pure shoot mutants uh shoot mutants like adventure. And look, the Mercs are fighting mutants, so that's great. Making my life easier and giving me free loot. Oh, I don't know why I jumped. Oh, I thought I was going to loot the body and I was going to take everything. Um, oh! <laughs> Fucking fruit punch. I, I'm not that close. Whatever. My leg got hurt. Great. Fucking great. Hey! Yellow stash. In the... But... Uh, this place sucks. This place is a, a sci field. I have sci block, but oh god damn it! All right, this is gonna suck. I gotta heal my leg because I need to run like run through this place. Okay, why this place is a sci field? I don't fucking know. Or wait, no, I think the school's a sci field. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go here and see if the game starts going, Oh, your brain is getting hurt. That's a controller. That is a fucking controller, dude. Oh, he's walking in place. I might. What? I'm, I'm behind something. Look at my side.
Just run. I was behind a tree. That was cheating. Well, that's that sucks, man. That controller beat my ass. Is he just still standing over this? this is unfortunate. If only I had someone to follow me and fight them for me, because controllers don't actually attack your followers, at least with Psy. They attack them with, uh, with, like, the little stupid punch that they do. <laughs> wow, dude. I did not expect him. I was, I thought I was fine. I guess I was wrong. I'm listening, man. No. I would probably use an escort squad for this fucking asshole. Where, where is he? I'm basically gonna need full Psy to fight him. I mean, if he's stuck, I don't know. He kind of was walking in place. I'm gonna be careful. If I get too close, it'll my screen will kind of like highlight yellow. Let me know I'm too close to him, so it's fine. Yeah, I have Hydra shock in the gun. For the zombies. All right. No idea. Zombies models fucked up. Ooh, a tarp. Where is he? He's gone. Is that who walked into the anomaly? I don't want to like bank on that because I, I convinced myself of that now and he kills me. Yep, this is a side field. I knew it. Oh, God damn, I'm going to save right here. Just in case. I'm gonna have to let my sigh regenerate before I go in this place. I think he did walk into the anomaly. Again, I don't wanna like, try to convince myself of that. I wanna be wary, but if I was too close to him, the game would've highlighted my screen yellow at this point. That controller totally saw me through that tree. That was bullshit. Alright, let me, uh... Well, I have side block, which is fine. I'm gonna actually save right here. Just in case. I'm gonna let my side regenerate before I do this. It's gonna probably take a minute or two, so I'll just, uh... I'll probably just do a quick cut. Alright, so I put on the Scar that has passive strong Psy resistance, but it has insanity, so I took off all my guns so my character doesn't try to shoot himself. And, uh, so we're just gonna pop the side block, and we're just gonna go. Let me just put this on preemptively just in case. Oh my god, I'm already going insane. I'm gonna try to look up. Listen, if it's not up here, I die. It's that simple. It is that simple of an issue. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all. Just take, take all. I don't give a shit right now. Run! Oh, I got out. Okay. All right. Well, that was scary. Take off these guns before I start to shoot myself with them too. Let's see. I got this. I also lost some side because I uh, have the scar on and it healed me. That's nice though. All right. Take off the scar. I have what? 
I got these two guns. I got a basic tools. Got this, a flashlight. Wow. That actually wasn't that good. <laughs> that kind of sucked. Uh, that's fine. Is this... Yeah, okay, this is the right orientation. Alright. That kind of wasn't that good, honestly. In fact, I'm just gonna take this part and this part and I'm gonna just drop these guns. I don't, you know. I think I already have one of those snipers put somewhere. Do I? It doesn't, I don't even have a... I don't even have, nah, I don't need them. I don't need them. I'm just gonna make that judgment call and say that. Actually, what the hell is this? I'll take the, this gun, alright? I'll just take this one. Now, we're gonna end this episode by going around and uh, shooting a bunch of mutants. And once we turn in this quest, that'll be it for this episode. Made a little bit of progress, you know, went to the next step of Living Legend, went back north, got level 2 with Freedom. All right, tell me well, not, not too bad. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Cyblock might have been... Actually, no, I think the Cyblock was very necessary, because I almost barely got out of there. So I will say that the Cyblock saved me, and the Scar probably did too. Because when I put on the scar, I the cut didn't last so long because the scar like rapidly refilled my fucking ah Jesus Christ that actually scared me like fucking unironically. Come on, bitch. Got him. Ugh. That actually scared the shit out of me. I'm actually kind of embarrassed by that. I heard it too. I heard the thing, so you. Sh I should have like known, but I just d I didn't expect it. Oh my god! Oh, did I just get the hide? Eighty-eight percent, huh? Look at that psychic resistance I could have had. <laughs> that just sucks. Whatever. That's an eighty-eight percent psy sucker hide. That's awesome. The psy suckers are like thinner versions of the blood suckers, and they shoot the projections at you. That's how you know. Uh. That's how you know what the Psy Suckers are. And of course, I gotta go to the other end of the base. This job pays alright, though, and they always give it to you. It's like the each faction has, uh, like, faction base has specific jobs related to that faction leader that they can give you. And this is the one the mercs always give. And having a shotgun trivializes it, so... There's a burner anomaly right there. And, um, you know, I'm surprised I didn't walk into this time. This place is chock full of side fields, though. By the way, this is also a cut area. This area never appeared in any of the stalkers. In fact, it was originally meant to be freedom space, which makes sense, you know, if you think about it, uh, logically, but never was meant to be. And now Gamma's using it as the Merc space. It's funny, when I first got here in Gamma, like, I would, like, here's what I would do in Gamma, real quick, while I'm regenerating stamina. I would open up my map and look at all the locations up north, north that I haven't been to yet. And I would go to Dead City, I'd be like, dude, Dead City sounds so cool. That area is probably gloomy and, and fucked up and has a bunch of crazy stuff, you know what I mean? It has such a cool name. I come here as my loner and I just get shot to death by mercs and I'm like, oh, this area actually just sucks. <laughs> it's just a freaking merc hideout. That was my first impressions, but I've grown to like it. I've grown to like it. Where the hell is this thing? <laughs> that was just a boar in here? <laughs> okay. Um, I see where it is. Alright. Just the boar is in the house. Uh, 
thought I heard something. I still think I do. Eh, whatever. Gotta love doing the busy work for the mercs. Eh, you get mutant parts from it and paychecks not that bad, so. I just wish you just put all the markers on your map for the mutants. So you can kinda like know where they are and kinda plan like a little optimal route so you don't run around like this. But you know, whatever. Swear to god if Okay, it's dogs. I was gonna say, I swear to god, if it's a fucking pseudo giant over here, I'm gonna be mad because there's nothing to jump on. Look at him. Really? That was close. I gun jammed. What the hell? Good thing I had some stamina left to do that jump. I told you the gun would still jam that the fucking 53% would only slightly help. I knew it. I know this game too well. Got it. Is that everything? Maybe. Let me see. It is! Nice! Alright, so we're gonna turn this in and call it a day. Yeah, although the reload animation takes a while, the, uh, the 12 shots vastly make up for it. Are you fucking serious? Actually, can I just... hold on. Let me see that hide. Can I just run through this area? Yeah, I don't need to go around, you kidding me? Through that. <laughs> I probably didn't even need the hide, but I just put it on just in case. Alright. Job's done. Uh, 67 grand. Uh, grand. 6700. That would be that would be great. Uh, eliminate a free stalker at army warehouse. There's no can do. I don't want to lower my rep. Gain rep among the mercs. It's already not high because of all my work I've been doing with the uh, free stalkers. Alright, well, Free Stalkers is level 2, Freedom's level 2, Mercs is barely anything, Bandits are almost level 2, one more job and they're level 2, that's great. Alright, well, with that said, this has been, I believe, uh, part 6 of my uh, Freedom playthrough. Dude, you're putting me to sleep. Dude, you're putting me to sleep, shut up, I'm not talking to you. Anyways, so we're gonna save here, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll continue either Freedom or Monolith next time, but look forward to one either way. So with that said, it's been me. I hope you all had a good time. Next time, what we're probably going to do is I might try to find, um, I might try to just do jobs, get stashes and stuff like that, or try to continue living legend. Uh, so yeah, with that said, I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a good rest of your day, night, or evening. All right, everybody. Peace out.